Hi, so today we're going to talk about blusher. Now blusher is my favourite, favourite makeup item. Um, lots of people love mascara, I'm all about the blusher. I'm absolutely amazed by how many women will go out in a full face of makeup and skip the blusher. For me it's the most important thing, it kind of makes you look prettier and healthier and brings your whole look together. Um, I'd go without anything before I went without blusher. Blushes come in mainly two different formulations. They either come in powder formulations like this, which um, suit all skin types and are fine for everybody and quite easy to put on. And then there are also cream blushes, which can come in a palette or, or a pan or these handy sticks here, which are great. So you can generally put these on with your fingertips. As a rule of thumb, cream you can only really go for if you have dry skin and that would go underneath your face powder and powder blusher is suitable for everybody. When it comes to choosing a colour, um, blusher is the one time I would advocate matching with your lips. Not exactly, but if you have a pink toned lip I would go for a pink toned blusher. If you're wearing a coral or a peachy lipstick, go for a coral or a peach blusher um, and so on. <clears throat> because it really, um, when you have the clash it can look quite dated. Um, over the years I've sort of been using a technique that lots of other makeup artists use um, where you layer two colours of blusher, you use quite a natural flat blusher underneath and then a pop of colour over the top to sort of brighten things up and to look prettier. Um, so your base colour wants to be quite a natural um, nude sort of colour. If you're olivey complexioned, a bronzer will here will do, that's fine. If you're pale like me, you want to just choose something that's kind of like a very pale, pale bronze or a light brown or something and that goes on first so you put your foundation or tinted moisturizer concealer and powder on and then you move on to the blusher unless it's a cream blusher then it goes underneath so you load up quite a fat brush dust off the excess onto a tissue and then you can be quite slapdash with this just apply it over your cheeks and blend up towards your forehead and you can even go down a bit if you really want the colour. Then when you've done that, take a smaller brush, not tiny, still quite fat and you want one with sort of rounded domed bristles and what that does it'll give you a rounded natural shape instead of those sort of 70 stripes that people used to do. Then choose a brighter colour. Now because I have sort of rosy toned lipstick on, I'm going to choose a pinky rosy blusher. Now um, I think I'm going to go for this NARS one. NARS in my opinion make the best blushes but um, there are lots of people who do them well. NARS is just my favourite, it's the one I use every day. Load up the brush, you can put quite a lot on because you're going to dab off the excess in a sec. This brush is by MAC, MAC do great brushes as to the body shop, shoe mirror, and you want natural bristles. Then the technique here is to smile in an exaggerated way. So if you smile like this, you can see these fat bits here. Those are called the apples of the cheeks and that is where your pop of colour goes. So you're just stroking it on the round bits. And if you'll see the difference straight away, this just looks brighter and healthier than the other side. And then you'll see that the whole thing just gets brightened up more and it just ties together your eyes and your lips. And I really, really recommend this method. Don't skip blusher, it just looks strange to me. It looks kind of half done. Um, even if you're not wearing much eyeshadow or if you want to skip lipstick and wear a lip balm, always go for a blusher, it makes a huge difference. Thanks.